DJ here with Dance Plug, and I got Kate and Neptune. How's it going, guys? Good, good. Feeling good. Good. Feeling saved. <laughs> Thanks, Feeling Twitter. Saved. Yeah. Hashtag Definitely. save me. Hashtag please save me. <laughs> <laughs> so that's kind of scary. It's like, okay, in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, start hashtagging? Uh, yeah, you know what's more scary is like, I'm not quite sure what I'm supposed to do with my face. Like, am I supposed to be smiling? While America's trying to save me, or am I upset about it? I mean, you're upset, but I just was like, save me. <laughs> but I'm like, should I be like, save me to it? You know, I don't know. I just am a smiley, happy person, so. Right, then you have to smile. Yeah. Definitely. That's what was going through my head. <laughs> yeah. But the smile's like, yeah. like save me, <laughs> please. <laughs> yeah, maybe we should do both. And, well, speaking of the Twitter save, do you guys agree with that? Do you think that it legitimately works? Yes, I guess so. <laughs> yeah, it does. It does work. It's it's an interesting wrench in this competition for sure. But what if some of the contestants have like forty two thousand followers and then others have two thousand? Mm. See, that's something that you know we kind of well we do think about a lot, but it's not really up to how many followers you have because also at the same time it depends on how well you do with with the piece. As you can tell, like Ace of has a lot of followers, but look what happened. He was at the bottom, you know, um, even bottom, the same thing. So it's, it's not just because of the followers that you have, but also it's how you perform. If you don't perform the best, then your followers may go to somebody else that they may, you know, favorite in a piece. Nice. Well, and that definitely makes sense. And then your guys' piece, let's get to that. So Justin, him and I spoke and he really praised you both. And, and Kate, you came out of your shell this week. I apparently did. Um, I think it takes me a second to figure out what's going on and get a handle on things. And um, it's just been a very interesting few weeks. And this week, this week, I finally was like, "Yes, I have Neptune, and we have Contemporary with Justin Giles, <laughs> Columbia, South Carolina. Represent. <laughs> We're both from there." Nice. But yeah. then, what changed in your mind? Um, I don't think anything really. I think I just sort of found my groove. You know, I kind of realized where I fit in and what I can do for this show, and that's I just went with it. Because how would you feel? You guys obviously love dance so much. Yeah. To getting told that are you performing or we don't know what's happening. Uh, honestly, when we ended, we felt each other so much that I was going to turn around. And I really didn't care what they thought because I knew what we had, and it didn't matter. And everyone keeps talking about your personality. Like you're just, I've, the word keeps going authentic. So it's yeah. like that's you and that's amazing. So do you think that you have an advantage because America's getting to know you a little bit more maybe than other contestants? Um, well, to be honest, at first, even from the Dallas audition up until now, I didn't get a lot of airtime. You know, and for some people, they can be really heartfelt about that or feel something personal about it. But for me, I just was like, I'm still thankful to be here, you know. I still thank God to be in this position where I'm at now because not a lot of people are able to be here. Hundreds and thousands of people audition for different seasons. So um, for me, for people to actually see who I am, I'm just very thankful for that, you know. Um, just because they haven't really been able to see me dance, it's just been interviews and stuff. And so people can actually see my personality. Now people see me dance and they're like, oh, where has he been at the whole season? You know, like, so I've been here. I'm here, yeah. <laughs> It's just, you know, certain things happen and, you know, it's just not taking it personal, but actually having a real heart for what you love to do and even for people. So I'm not just taking it as in if I win or lose, I'm sad about it. I'll be a little sad, yes, but I made a lot of friends by being here and had great experiences with different choreographers, too. Right. Neptune, that sounds like a closing speech. Oh, it's like, um. you're staying. You know that, right? <laughs> <laughs> I like, I've so. just loved it so much. <laughs> For real, y'all keep voting. I'm gonna still be here. You know, that's the only way I'm gonna be here. <laughs> Same, ditto. <laughs> just <my> ditto. <laughs> Nailed it. <laughs> the theme of uh, some of these interviews have been going into secrets because we're just a family. Dance plug is a family. So yeah. I'll give you three seconds to think of a secret that you're like, America needs to know this now. I've been holding this in for three weeks. Um, I fake fainted once to get out of trouble with my dance teacher who is here tonight. Sorry, Miss Dale. We won't tell her. What's her name? Miss Dale. Miss Dale, we're, we're not going to tell you that. <laughs> That's a good one. That's good. <laughs> All right. Um, it's not like I haven't told America, but America's finally finding out that I have a four-year-old daughter that I love so dearly. Um, 
and that's the whole reason why I'm here to this day doing this competition is for my family. So that's something that I hope that everyone can appreciate, especially in that last piece. Like that was straight from the heart for my daughter. You know, um, that's where all the emotions came from. That's why I felt so authentic and real, because that's the only thing I thought about when I was there dancing with Kate. And so bringing those feelings out actually like helped out with the performance. So for non-dancers, is that how you guys do it? Is that how you emote and show? Do you, if, if you've never experienced something before, do you have to go into something that you have? I think, uh, yes, you do. You have to go into uh, prior experiences. Anything that you can bring to the table. You know, we talked about a lot of different things and what we were saying because the piece was a conversation. So we just talked about our real experiences, and I got to know him so much better as a result of it. I love that. Well, thank you so much. Thank you. We love you from Dance Plug. Good luck. Thank you. <laughs> thank you.